Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today is another interlude day. I'm going to have another go at the um, Maker Fair Here There Be Makers badge, which I've been working on. I think I've done two videos on it so far. It got better uh, the second time, and I'm going to make it better now the third time. Um, you can see it up the back here. It's got a little posy on the um, on the on the um, shelf at the back there. Uh, this is it. Here there be makers. It's got uh, two LEDs. The problem is they're way too bright. Look at that. And when you record them, all you see is a red ball of glare. Um, so as my mate Joe suggested in the comments on the previous YouTube video. Um, resistors would be a good idea in here. Not only will it reduce the brightness and the glare, but it will pro uh, prolong the battery life as well. So, um, uh, let's jump over to the bench and put some resistors in this thing, see if we can, uh, you know, make it a bit better. Here we are on the bench. This is our badge. We'll be uh, putting some resistors on either side of the um, of the LEDs here. Again, I can just show you how glaring it is uh, at full power. Um, this here is a 10K potentiometer. So I'm just gonna grab some uh, alligator clips. Uh, there's a black one. And what have we got here? A red one. Do we only need two? I think we only need two to start. So, um, uh, we need to undo the uh, the screw. There we go. Pop him out. Now we should be able to um, just uh, put uh, a resistance through the um, through the circuit here. Uh, we're going to use the 10k pot and we'll adjust it to a uh, suitable brightness and then we'll um, <clears throat> uh, of course we we only need um, one resistor in this circuit uh, but for um, aesthetic purposes it might be better to have two and how how low do we want to go we want to be able to see the eyes but we don't want the eyes to glare there they're glaring yeah just visible but not too glaring that's what we want isn't it all right so that's glaring that's reasonable and then it goes down you can't see them at all There we go. I kind of like it around there. I think that's pretty good. So what we'll do now is we'll bust out our new multimeter um, and put it in resistance mode and see what uh, what resistance we actually have here. Uh, then I think I might divide it by half and use two of them. We'll see. So uh, it's on... Uh, resistance mode, auto ranging, that should be pretty good. So uh, let's just go here and here. What are we looking at? 300? I'll just take these bits off. Oop. What have we got? 280 it says. 280, so call it 300 and around about 150 each. We'll put in two. Will we put in two? We don't need two. I think we'll put in two. I like two. Two look two will look symmetric. So uh, we need something in the order of 150. So here is my draw of uh, 150 ohm, 1% uh, tolerance um, uh, uh, resistors. So, there's one of them, and uh, there's another one of them. Those look about right to me. Uh, 
so we're just going to put those um, between here and here and here and here <sighs> I'll keep the resistors on the bench just in case I uh, make a mistake and need another one let's put our meter out of the way for the moment all right well we're going to need our soldering iron so let's get that guy turned on up he comes all right now I'm going to need to undo the other screw here that's good and we just want to um, we're going to want to take off that heat shrink there I suppose a, a craft knife will be the best, best way to do that let's just cut that off Some uh, pliers might be useful as well. We'll see. There we go. So we're just removing the uh, the old um, heat shrink here. <coughs> I'm going to do the same on the other side. So we're just going to want to replace uh, this bit and this bit uh, with the um, the resistor. So let's just uh, let's wrap the resistor around. That looks like it'll work pretty much. So let's just add a bit of solder there. I'm going to give myself a little bit more slack. Yeah, that'll probably do. Not sure, not sure. Dear me. Ah, a bit of solder. I think we've got a little bit of solder over here. All right. Ow! Burnt myself. Well, let's just snip it off and uh, see how we're doing. Yeah, snip that off there. Oh, I sent it fly. Snip that off there. Now, just get that little bit of uh, wire that went flying. Put that in the bin. Oh, what have I done? Oh no, it looks okay. So just bend that into place. Looks about right, doesn't it? What do you reckon? Can you see that? So, uh, how are we going space-wise? Yeah, that looks fairly good. That's actually going to fit. Excellent. So now we just need to do the same thing on the other side. <coughs> so, let's take that and I'll spin it around once. And then we'll just uh, solder it in. Yeah, looks fairly good. I might actually just bend it the other way. This way. All right. Here we go. Get that around there. And 
that way and then this can come around here come in yeah thanks I'm just making me a video sorry just a little interruption there now let's get a bit of solder on this guy Alright, that looks pretty good. So it's probably still hot and I'm going to burn my finger again. Now, let's just uh, snip these bits of pieces off. It's off. And that's off. And it should just bend out a little bit there. It's pretty good to me. Oh, I think I've bent it too much. Yeah, I think I have. But uh, if I solder it, I might, I might fix it up enough. So let's uh, grab our third hand and let's hold this this way now I've really done damaged it but uh, maybe maybe we'll be able to salvage this look it's just about to fall off oh dear I don't think this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. No, it just fell right off. Huh, well, I'm glad I kept those resistors on the bench because it looks like I'm going to need them. Let's turn this around. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to give up on this just yet. I might be able to uh, redeem it. Oh dear. Not having much luck. <sighs> what if we uh, just bend that back? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, just scrap this and have another go at it. The problem was I, uh, I bent the wire too much and it got brittle and snapped. So let's just try through there and then back around this way. That ought to do pretty nicely. pretty good bit of solder fairly good it's just uh, a matter of whether it's too long I mean, what are we gonna do 
that looks like it'll work let's just check the polarity there is that working yeah that's working so we know which way it goes in going to snip off that little bit of wire there. Snip. Alright. Now this is the bit where I have to do it upside down. upside down. Now, oh, it fell out again. Dear me. Alright, let's just take it easy and bend this stuff into place. Now, we want to get the eyes lined up in their spot. Looks fairly good. So how's that looking? Not bad. This could come across just a little bit. Yeah. Not bad. So we'll just uh, screw the terminals in. And uh, if we just snip off the uh, uh, the excess lead, it's off. And same over here. We just snip that off. And there we have it. Here there be makers. So that's. Uh, visible but not glaring so a little bit better so thanks to my mate Joe for encouraging me to get that done and that's a wrap this is our our badge you can see the uh, the lights are uh, not too glaring um, this will uh, live up the back here um, so that should be fairly good. I don't know if you can see it all the way across there, but uh, yeah, that's everything. So that concludes today's interlude video. Um, there's going to be more videos coming out soon. I, I'm probably going to have a bunch of uh, mail call videos to do, and I've uh, I still got to finish the uh, uh, the unboxing for my new Fluke 17B Plus multimeter. So that'll be coming out soon. I'm going to be working on that today, actually. Um, and yeah, as I said, more mail call videos because I've got a lot of stuff that's just about to arrive. But that's the end of this video. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And please remember to hit like and subscribe.